channel. This is a wholesome channel. Please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Today, I'm going to be showing you my favorite ways to lighten up when I'm not feeling so hot. And I'm also going to show you some great hair care tips like fixing up this dry hair, show you how to turn this to this much healthier and happier hydrated hair. Some days are definitely easier than others. Emotions and feelings are funny. I don't know why we wake up the way that we do, but I find that if I stay in a kind of routine, it helps keep my positivity going. We all have different responsibilities in our lives, and every morning I wake up, let the dogs out, I go to the bathroom, then I let them back in. This for me is like a pivotal time in the day where I need to self-care and set myself up for success. Otherwise, I won't really be very productive through the day. It's very easy and fun to hit the snooze button and procrastinate things that you should really be doing. The first thing I do is I brush my teeth. It's very important to get all that gook out of you since your body has been detoxifying while you're sleeping overnight. Scrub all over your teeth and your tongue and make sure to put your toothbrush down your throat and you'll spit up this kind of phlegm that's so good to get out of you. Now that we've gotten that out, I like to drink some water. You can have tea, coffee, whatever you like, but remember those dehydrate you, so it's best to really start your day off with some water. Even drinking water while your tea or coffee is brewing is super great and will help keep you hydrated through the day. Mmm, chai tea. I'd love to hear what kind of tea you guys love to drink in the comments. Then we're going to massage our scalp using our fingertips, not our nails, all over the place to stimulate blood flow and improve your hair growth. You can do this for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, as long as you want. It feels really good, honestly. You don't want to be scratching. We're massaging all over our scalp using our fingertips, not our nails. You don't want to be scratching. Mmm, it feels so good. I also like to lightly tap my head all over the place. 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, it's up to you. Again, it feels good and it's gonna stimulate your growth and improve blood circulation. Oh, that felt so good. Now, you know, depression's funny, so if you're up for it, hop in the shower, but if you're not, I'm gonna share with you guys my secret to fabulous hair when I am not feeling up to a shower. Warm water and a spray bottle, guys. My hair is so thirsty. I'm just gonna lightly spray it all over the place. And I'm going for the in-between stage when you get out of the shower and your hair is wet, obviously, but it kind of dries after a little while, but it's still not completely dry. That's what I'm trying to fake right now. And guys, it works. Spray under your hair. Spray on top. You just want to get it wet enough that it looks like you showered, but you really don't have to take a whole shower and you're going to have fabulous hair, I promise. It's still pretty dry, but it's obviously there. It's wet. I used to think forever that my hair was getting dry because it needed oil, but it's really water that it's lacking, and then it needs an oil on top of it as a moisture barrier, keeping the moisture inside and the outside environments away from it. Now you're going to want to get your hair up and out of your face. You could put it up in a braid, you could put it in a bun, whatever you like, whatever you know how to do. Leave it in the comments if you need some help with either of those. The trick there was adding moisture to our hair. Now it's got to dry out a little bit more and we're going to add some oil on top of it before it actually dries completely. But it's really hard to gauge the spread of the oil when your hair is this wet. So I'm going to let it dry out a little bit. So while that's drying, I'm going to tweeze my eyebrows, put on a facial, shave my face and body. Hi, I feel better already. Now I'm going to treat myself to a facial, which I suggest you guys do as well. Or you would just add your moisturizer right now. And this is why you tweeze your eyebrows first, because you would not be able to while this mask is on, even though it would be more time efficient. <laughs> while your mask is drying, this is a great time to shave your body. I'm using my Manscaped razor, but your regular razor will work just fine. Or if you love your body hair, go for it. Do you, boo. Goal is being efficient while your hair is drying a little bit more and your facial is drying. You could do the dishes, you could clean up, you can do whatever you want, but this is all about self-caring and pampering yourself right now. Now is a great time to treat yourself to a smoke. I'm smoking CBD, there's no THC in here. If you're curious about what CBD is, there's a video link in the description about my first time smoking it and all about a CBD. Check it out, it's really cool. Make sure to hold your breath as long as you can. Or light a candle and just make your zen zone. This is also a great time to watch some funny videos, anything that's going to make you laugh. I like to watch compilations of people laughing and laugh along with it. Weirdly and surprisingly, it lightens your mood so much. I also like jumping around and dancing around to loud fast music, whatever genre you prefer. But it really helps elevate your mood so much. So you can apply your favorite moisturizer. Today I'm using certified organic jojoba oil. A little bit goes a long way. It's a very moisturizing oil. 
Apply it all over your face and neck to lock in moisture and to protect you from the environments outside. Whether it's too dry or too moist outside, this will make a barrier for your skin. Now that our hair has gotten mostly dry, but not all the way, we're going to add some jojoba oil to lock in some of the moisture and again, keep a barrier from the outside elements. You want your hair to still have moisture in it, but not be completely saturated with water. It definitely shouldn't be dripping. Everybody's got different hair. Mine is very porous and dry and curly naturally. Mine very much readily absorbs the water, holds on to it, but it's also quick to release it. So adding the jojoba oil helps lock in the moisture through the day, so it keeps looking really nice. If your hair is naturally oily, straight, and non-porous, I recommend using grapeseed oil. It's a drying oil and will help create a barrier for your hair, but it will also make it not so oily looking. So working in sections, I'm just going to put a very little bit. I start with my tips and just scrunch it into my hair. And then I'll get a little bit more jojoba oil and I'm going to put it on the tops of my hair. For some reason, this kind of zone, the very front of my hair, gets very dry. And I put a little bit extra towards those areas. Now I'm going to do the same to the other side. I'm going to start with my tips and just kind of scrunch it in there really well. Then I'll do it again and put it on the front part here and then kind of underneath my hair in the back. One last time, you're going to want to put your hair in a braid or a bun. I really suggest putting your hair up in a braid because it's going to accentuate your curls. Your hair is going to be in this state until it dries. Don't let your hair down until it is completely dry. Now go get dressed. Your hair will probably be ready when you're done. And if it's not, don't take it out yet. It's a super great surprise and you're going to love it. Just be patient. Definitely put on some deodorant. Now that your hair is all dry, you can unpackage your surprise. Ta-da! Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate your time, and I hope this video was useful to you. I hope I lightened you up and brightened your day. Until next time, guys. Bye!